welcome back and this is the second part of the tutorial on installing Moodle uh, the last time we set up our folders and set permissions and we also set up IIS uh, this time we're going to set up PHP which is needed for Moodle if you'll go to php.net and click on downloads we will want to download the the bina Windows binary since we're setting up on Windows and after you do that you'll have your zip file and you want to extract that I like to keep everything on the same uh, drive so you can extract it just to to E and extract and it will create a PHP folder for you and I already have mine extracted to that folder and next we will want to edit the PHP INI file and this website site right here is the Moodle Docsop Moodle and it has a step-by-step -step instructions for you we want to do look at our PHP INI settings if you go to the PHP directory you won't see a PHP INI you will just see a, D, a DIST and a recommended uh, of course I'm going to use the recommended uh, all you need to do is to rename it and take the recommended dash recommended out and you have an INI file okay now we need to make some edits to the file just open it up and as you can see right here this these are the settings that you'll need to change you can open it up in notepad and just do uh, control F to search for stuff and we want to set safe underscore mode to off or zero zero is off and one is on so that's correct then memory memory limit should be 40 um, it depends on how much memory you have on your server I'm going to leave mine at 128 and that is set uh, correctly uh, the session saver the magic quotes is actually you had to search go back up to search for it and we want magic quotes GPC uh, to one we want it on so you can either set it to off or on and then the magic quotes runtime it's back down we want it off and file uploads We want it set to own so uh, people can upload uh, files and turn in assignments. Okay. Session auto underscore start set to zero. And then session bug underscore underscore compact warn should be set to off. Okay. File save. And there's one thing in here that Moodle does not say, but I found it searching on the internet. You want to do control F and search for IIS. Start at the beginning. <laughs> search for IIS and you will see this line that says you can safely turn this off and for in fact for IS the CGI dot force redirected must be off so set that to zero and take the uh, semicolon out or so it won't comment that line out close and save and that does it for the uh, PHP settings uh, next time we'll download SQL and install it 